my name is Jackie. I work for uh, Seattle School District. We're in the SPS test kitchen. This is my friend Andrew. He's with uh, Kikoman. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. So happy to be cooking with you today. What are we making? We're making a uh, Ponsu uh, steak sandwich. Excellent, excellent. So we have flank steak here that's not marinated, but I'm going to show you how to make a really quick marinade. You can um, marinate it and um, marinate it for an hour or so, or you could, if you're making a Friday night, a special dinner on Friday night, you could marinate the meat on Thursday night and let it sit in the fridge all night, and then it'll have a lot of flavor to it. It's Kikoman citrus seasoned ponzu. So it's soy sauce, essentially, that tastes like lemon and orange. It's really quite delicious. And then this is ginger, garlic, sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil is also really delicious. It's very aromatic. And I'm gonna, just going to whisk it. And add the meat. And when you marinate, you want to make sure that it's nice and coated. Just sort of flip it around a little bit. Is there a certain kind of meat you should use? I this is flank steak. I like it because you know it's a, it's affordable, but it's still tender. Okay. And um, if you have a charcoal grill or a gas grill, it's really good to to cook it on that as well. Okay. Some people think you need to make meat that you're marinating swim in the marinade. A lot of marinade. You really don't. You just need a little bit so that it coats. And now here it is. And we're going to make sure our pan is hot. You know how I know my pan is hot? How do you know? The oil kind of um, dances around a little bit in there. You want to put it in so that it's away from you. That's great. And you can hear it sizzling a little bit. So this will take a few minutes. What else is going on in the sandwich? So we're going to do some of uh, the marinated vegetables. It's a half cup of water, one cup of vinegar. I think you can use um, a rice vinegar or even a white wine vinegar, whatever you really have in your cupboard, I think. And then sugar and then the peppercorns. I'm going to mix it up really good. Okay, smells good. I'm just kind of getting that sugar to dissolve just a little sugar bit. Sugar to dissolve a little bit, yeah. And then put in the vegetables, so radish, red onion, and then some of the carrots. And we'll just stir that up a little bit, get it to marinate a little bit, make sure everything's all good and coated. All right. So I'm going to turn this meat over now because I'm pretty sure it has a little color on it. Should I go ahead and cut the yeah. Cut the bread. One of the things that I like about this sandwich is it has um, some uh, a lot of different flavor components. So there's some creaminess, some acid, lots of things coming together to make it really delicious. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Nice. I'll go ahead and cut the bread. You don't want to cut it all the way through. You want to keep a little hinge on there. That work for us? Yeah, you can sort of open it up a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to cut up the meat because it will make it easier to eat as a sandwich. And I don't really care. I'm not worried about thickness or consistency at this point. I just want some nicely cooked easy to eat in a sandwich kind of meat. Looks good. So Jackie, rumor has it that you've worked uh, for the Seattle Public Schools for a few years. I have. What's a few? I have 33 years in this 33? Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of jalapeno on here. So you might be feeding second generation students. It's possible. I'll bet it's likely. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Been around for a while, yes. And what do you do? Definitely What enjoy. is your job? 
So my job is I'm a supervisor. I have 25 sites, and I'm just a full-time supervisor. So you go and do quality control? Quality and control. We do uh, sometimes we uh, fit in and run some programs, help out a lot, get our people uh, what they need. Excellent, excellent. So you're really a resource to, to committing to the culturally relevant, specific food that, that we serve here in the district. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, so. These are beautiful. I would, I would eat this at a fine dining restaurant. <laughs> it looks great. Doesn't it? Well, why don't you want to cut one in half? Okay. Ooh. I'm going to have to lean over the board here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Mm. So really good. good. Really good. The flavor of the meat, really good. The marinated vegetables, the roll. Yeah. Wholesome, delicious meat, high quality meat. Really good. That we serve here. Yeah. One more bite. One more bite. <laughs>